How many teachers, of all the teachers you've had in life, among all your teachers, how many made a singular impact in your life? How many changed you in fundamental, important ways? And what makes those teachers special is that you could have no interest in the subject going in and you come out and it's the most interesting thing you've ever heard in your life. Those teachers convey something special within their students. Their enthusiasm and excitement, a passion. So one of my great laments is that education today seems to be less about passion and more about process. More about tactic or technique. I, but I don't know anybody who said, boy, I love that teacher. He or she gave a really good homework set. Or, boy, that was the best class I ever took because those exams were awesome. That's not what people want to talk about. That's not what influences people in one profession or another. It's it's how well the instructor imparted their passion for their subject in their students. And just extend this to the sciences. We all know people who were turned off by science because they had a bad teacher. That's the worst case. The teacher, the teacher now has the opposite effect of what education ought to be. What we used to do, and I regret it a little bit, is you would go on pilgrimages to mountaintops because that's where your telescopes are. It's a conduit, and I sit there and I reflect on it. My specialty was the center of the, of the Milky Way galaxy, 30,000 light years away. And so I have my digital detectors, I've got the telescope, it's dark, it's just me on this mountain and the universe. And I look up and I just think to myself, there are photons that have been traveling for 30,000 years. And I'm sort of snatching them from this journey and planting them into my digital detector. But so, so there's not only the fact that I'm on the mountaintop, there's the knowledge and the feeling that I'm reaching out to the universe with these methods and tools of science. Then add to that the sum of 20th century knowledge about the origin of the chemical elements, something the chemist would not be able to answer without the help of the astrophysicist. You can't go to the chemist in your high school chemistry class and say, where did these elements come from? The teacher wouldn't know outside of the domain of science, uh, from within the domain of chemistry. That was informed by astrophysics. We can trace the elements. They were forged in the centers of stars, high mass stars that went unstable at the ends of their lives, they exploded, scattered their enriched contents across the galaxy, sprinkled into gas clouds that then collapsed and formed stars and planets and life. There are people who say, this makes me feel small because I need to see the immensity of the cosmos. And I say, no, you're, you're not thinking about it the right way. Because I know that the molecules in my body are traceable to phenomena in the cosmos. And that, 
and it's our 15 pounds of gray matter that figured this out. And so I feel, and I use words, I bask in the majesty of the cosmos. What that tells me as an educator is, let me offer the universe to people. Let them know that it's not simply that we're in the universe, but in fact, given the chemistry of it all and the nuclear physics of it all, not only are we in the universe, the universe is in us. And I don't know any deeper spiritual feeling than what that brings upon me. It's my life love. I've known this since I was a kid. I didn't accidentally land at the Bronx High School of Science. I knew, but I wanted to become an astrophysicist not because I chose it. In a way, the universe chose me. That first day in the Hayden Planetarium at age nine, as a kid, and I looked up and the lights dimmed and the stars came out. And I was called by the universe. I had no choice in the matter. I became a student of the universe with the ambition of one day being one of its participants in research on the frontier of cosmic discovery. And that ambition, that inculcation, stayed with me the whole time. To the point where when you become an astrophysicist, when you become a scientist at all, here's what I'm putting back to you. 